Hello everyone. Wanted to show you a small update on the new cheese that I uh, I put together. I said I was going to try and mix the two cheeses together and see what comes out of it. Now I made this on the 10th of July and I haven't opened it up since then. So I'm just going to quickly take a look and show you. Now someone asked me um, how often do I change the paper inside? Well, as you could tell, I haven't touched the paper inside because it's still sealed the way I put it in the fridge. And here is my cheese so far. The paper is nice and wet. Not wet that it can't, that it's too wet, but nice and wet. I'm going to show you the inside. Still very creamy. So you know this is going to have to stay in there a little longer. I'm just going to get a knife. Here we go. Now I can't touch this because I am on a fast but that's what it looks like inside so it's still very wet inside so this cheese has to stay in longer than it has so far and it is basically uh, what six days that it's in the refrigerator so it does have to stay in there a little longer. Uh, like I said, I can taste this cheese. I can make my daughter just taste what it's like so far. Erica, can you just taste the, what it tastes like? It's creamy right now, right? Mm. How's Very it taste good. on the cheese? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. Um, I'd like to be able to cut it again, but I won't. I'm just going to leave it the way it is, and hopefully, um, hopefully it's going to do its thing. So I'm going to wrap it one on top of the other right now, rather than sideways. So this way, the moisture will also come out from that side. But just to show you that it's day six, that's what it looks like so far. It's getting nice, and it's making that skin that you want cheese to have now some people also remove the skin when they eat cheese but I normally wouldn't do that but here it is I'm going to wrap it this way and hopefully even more moisture is going to come out of it I am going to use the same paper so I am going to put it this way and then on top and we're going to wrap this up again and it's going to go into the fridge a little longer so this is my little update on this cheese like I said you do have to keep it wrapped in paper what the paper does is it absorbs as much uh, as much as the liquid as it can absorb and like I said it does have to stay longer than a week or two uh, depending how you like your cheese now this like I, I was telling you I, I mix two cheeses to see how it's going to come out. Um, when you do see this, I've already posted the video of what the recipe is and that means I was happy with the results of the uh, of the cheese. But I just wanted to show you the progress because someone mentioned um, how often do I change the paper and to tell you the truth, I didn't change the paper in six days because this is the 10th and today we're the 16th. And when you see it, it's going to be God knows what date. But I just want to give you an idea how it works. But taste-wise, my daughter said it was good, right, Eric? Mm -hmm. Do you find it salty? Was it too much salt? Should I... No, it's good. Salt was good. So uh, hopefully when I check it again for a new update for you, uh, you're going to see a difference in the texture of the cheese. And maybe my daughter will also take a nice bite or by then hopefully I'm, I should be off this water fast and I can taste the cheese. I'm not going to go too long on this water fast but right now I cannot touch it so uh, my daughter said it's good so I'm happy with that but I just wanted to show you it's still very wet inside the cheese and you want that cheese to also kind of dry up where it's almost like the one I showed you in the beginning so wish us luck. Hopefully this cheese is going to be fantastic, and if not, I'm going to be back at the drawing board. Good morning, everyone. Here we go. This is that cheese, my new recipe. I'm sure some of you already tried that cheese that I had up as an example just to show. 
But here is my cheese so far. Now this has been since July 10th, I think. Where is my paper? Sorry. Oh, here's my paper. That's right, July 10th, and today we're what? The 22nd, Erica? So we already have had this cheese aging for over. Oh, I got paper stuck on this one. I'll have to clean this. Um, we've had this cheese now aging for over uh, 10 days. So it's 12 days that we have it aging, and it could age even longer. But I just want to show you what it's like and when we cut it. The trick is when we cut it. How is the cheese when we cut it? So let me just get a knife. So as it ages, this only gets better, guys. You see, it's already nicer when you cut it. This one has paper on it. So I'm going to get a cutting board to show you. Now, I can finally taste it because I have come off my water fast. So, yeah, I could actually taste this cheese. Okay, so I want to show you when we cut it, what it starts to look like. Still not quite ready. So it could age just a little longer. Wow, the taste is very good. I didn't get a chance to taste the cheese, but my daughter did. So just to show you, it is still too wet to cut. It's almost like a brie. Now this, you could consider this cheese, at this stage, it's considered a brie cheese. And it tastes very close to brie. Very good. My God. But the longer you let this age, the more this is going to firm up. So not quite ready yet. What I'm going to do is separate it with some wax paper so they don't stick to each other. But that's what this cheese looks like as you age it. So back for aging. And I'm just going to put one on top of the other here. A little bit of... But how beautiful is this cheese, guys? So I hope you give it a chance and try it out. But the cheese is excellent. Actually, I should leave it out because my daughter is going to want some for sure. But there is that beautiful cheese. This now, I would say, it is at the stage of a brie cheese. You know how brie cheese is very nice and soft inside, but still cuttable? There it is. Very, very good, guys. But if you want it to be almost like a, a fontina, I would say age it longer. But it's so good that half the time we never get to age it the way we want to age it. But very, very good. The taste is excellent. So I shall upload this video, I would say. So I'm going to upload it. And when you see this now, when you see this video, this is... At the, at the stage of a brie cheese. And hopefully I'll let that one go even longer. So you'll see that it gets to the stage of a fontina. A very, very good cheese, guys. Very, very good cheese. Like brie cheese. Mm. I'm going to lose some off for my daughter. Okay, so I'm uploading it now. I call this brie Almost like a brie in texture. Firm, but still very creamy inside like a brie. And the other one, hopefully I should wait. When I do cut this open, it's going to be nice and firm like the Fontina. So this is the mixture. This is the cheese where I mixed half of the Fontina one that I pulled, that I put up, um, that I put up on YouTube already. And there was that other cheese that I told you I liked the taste, but I wasn't crazy about the texture. So this is the mixed cheese. And it is really, really good. Excellent, excellent cheese, guys. So um, I say go ahead and try this cheese. But like I said, also wait for it to get to the point that you want to get it. So very, very good cheese. Okay, guys. So I'll see you the next time you see another video on this cheese. It's going to be when I cut this one open. And show you that it's aged even longer so now today we're the 22nd 
I made this cheese on the tent. So we're already 12 days in and it could age even longer. If you want it to be like brie, I say eat it now after the... If you want it to be like a brie cheese, I say eat it now. I would even starch it. If you want it to be into a, like a brie cheese, I would starch the outside and that will pull even more of the moisture. And uh, if you want it to be more like a fontina, like this half is gonna be, I say let it age longer. But the cheese is excellent. You can even take some beautiful basil and eat this cheese. Look at that, with some basil. Erica, do you wanna try it? Beautiful, beautiful cheese. You can eat it like this or you can eat it with a piece of bread. It is fantastic. So it's a definite go, guys. The flavor is excellent. And like I said, this part year right now, at this stage, after uh, 12 days of aging, it's like a brie cheese. And if you wait even longer, it's gonna be like a fontina. Excellent, excellent cheese. That's what it looks like so far. Maybe if you age it a little longer, it's gonna be like this. So I'm gonna pop this in my mouth. Oh my God, so good. Okay guys, I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.